where we're going. Yeah, I mean, that's also true, right? Playing on the same patch for a number of weeks, the meta can evolve and develop even within the same patch. Um, because there's a lot of champions to test and a lot of champions to play at, at multiple levels. So yeah. let's find out whether or not that chain priority continues. Trundle banned away uh, by Huma this time around. Vlad the response. Uh, Braum, etc., etc. So no real surprises here. Bard is still available. Um, although saying that, the Braum, that denies it from Ignar, who yes. had a great performance in game one. It denies it from Ignar. Also um, kind of denies a disengage portion for if Misfits were wanting to run the poke composition again. So, Rise banned away. Of course, uh, this is not the version that just <laughs> okay. received a, a rework that so, uh, went live as of about five minutes ago. <laughs> spoilers! Um, it's what live! Else, <laughs> what else is available? Because Trundle, Bard, of the Bard, Trundle, Braum, Azia means that Lucian and Irelia were available. Aurelia is not taken off the table. Am I missing anybody else? No, those are the big ones that were banned away in game one. Bard first pick? No, Shen first pick. Then Bard Elise. So you're saying Shen, Bard Elise. Yeah. I'm saying Shen, Lucian. Unstable Lucian. Lucian Karma. Okay. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Karma's been a uh, very high priority. So we both got the Shen throughout okay. the rest. I, I will be honest, though, after seeing three games in a row, the, I'm less excited about getting yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, the teams have made it a bit easy for us. So thank you for that, uh, EU Challenge teams. <laughs> um, this little uh, Malzahar hover is, is really just a call out to uh, Jenner Greenwings. Yep. Uh, Trace played that twice today. I have no idea how the third result worked out. So um, I don't care. Tweet to me, tell me who won. I don't um, care, tell me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I just want to know whether or not he, he, he picked up a win because it was like 70 minutes and they won the game one. Um, 20 seconds left with the lock-in. I was thinking Bard Elise. You were thinking Lucian Karma. Karma. We were both wrong. And well, we were both you were slightly more Bard. right than I was. Uh, again, they spelled it out, right? Like Bard was banned in game one. It wasn't banned but now. So was, so was Lucian. Ignar and Bard. What do you think? How do you think uh, his performance will be? His Braum was very good, but this is a slightly different style of play. Well, we saw Dreams play Bard last week. I feel like that was a little better. I haven't seen enough of Ignar's Bard to okay. uh, to really comment too far on that. We saw, I believe, one or two games of it. Um, I think it was one. I'm going to check the stats right now. Um, no, we didn't actually see it yet. Not so. from Ignar, yeah. No. So, questions that need to be answered. Uh, Impaler Submarine. Actually, that is a, really appropriate because all of her spells are around like Hate Spikes and, and Agnes Embrace. They're all impaling. All, yeah, all impaling. Uh, the Lucian, can't see it being locked in yet. Five seconds left. Um, Lucian Nami. Hmm. Nami. So Nami into Bard. Um, depending on the ADC that Hans Summer goes with. Good bubble. Uh, good Tide Caller's Blessing. Could. Uh, Give some additional damage, Lucian. Yeah, uh, Lucian Nami also is a pretty decent lane when you look at it. Uh, you put the Tide Caller's Blessing on, yeah. get that extra damage in the laning phase. So we'll see whether that ends up being the luck. It's not going to be Jinx or Cogmore. No, <laughs> let's 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 look at, <laughs> at the mid lane matchup. Um, yeah. Because neither player has locked anything in yet. Swain um, is up. Should Swain they want is to? up. Uh, Victor is up. Zia's banned away. Selfie had the Varus in the last game. Which direction do you think they go? Hmm. Well, I don't feel like mid lane matchups getting picked here. I think it's going to be a counter pick for Selfie. Then it's probably going to be like a Victor coming out okay. for uh, Huma, unless they want the Azir for Kadril again. We may very well see a, a similar thing. Ooh, I love this combo. Rumble plus Jin. The potential setup. Deadly Flourish into a root with Equalizer on top of it, or um, Tempered Fate with then Equalizer when they come out of it. Like, there yeah. are so many long range, get dunked possibilities. Yeah, it's like off the screen, right? Yes. All we need is a Zareth, <laughs> and that would uh, fill it in. I don't think we're going to see a Zareth for the mm. record. I... How about if Ziggs? Gets... We've seen Ziggs. Oh. That would work too. Mm, yeah, we... I mean, I'm not a big fan of Ziggs and Zareth right now, I'm going to be honest. Oh, um, I don't care. I just want okay, to see I'm it. I'm just saying <laughs> that it's not a serious prediction that I'm saying that's going to come up. What but a it would buzzkill. Fit. It would fit thematically. Captain Serious over here. God. You should try it in solo queue. I think that would be a really fun combo. 
Yeah. Um, but don't don't invite me. You just do it and then see how it goes. Uh, the counter going to be Graves as well as Lissandra. So a lot of damage, mm -hmm. um, a lot of hidden tankiness with their Graves as well. But a little bit of a mismatch, I feel, in some of these options in terms of the uh, team comp. We've seen Graves really tank in uh, priority when it comes to jungle. Um, a lot of a lot of more favor towards Gragas. Uh, if you want somebody yeah. that's tanky and has impact when it comes to crowd, uh, team, team fights. fights with crowd control. Graves typically is, is because he kind of gets a little tanky and then has some damage, but unless he gets super far ahead, his burst potential is basically the only thing he has, right? Yeah. Is you're not like two-shotting people. That's why people say in scrims, Graves will go like 16 and 0, double, uh, walk up to somebody, two autos, and they're dead. That doesn't happen so much in competitive. But the last game we saw had like 48 kills in Correct. 37 minutes. It so. had a boatload of yeah. kills. Um, but the rest of the Huma composition, I mean, I think they've got a pretty decent wave clear combination here between the Graves, the Lucian, the Lissandra. You've got that split pusher in Shen. That's going to be Shen into Rumble. Now, unless I'm mistaken, I seem to remember Shen's doing relatively well against Rumbles, even before Shen, uh, before some of the reworks. But that is a very, very long time ago. And that's not a matchup that I'm super familiar with at this day and age. Shen also did get his rework uh, that came through as well. So it kind of changed uh, some of that matchup. It Obviously, both of them have their presence in team fights. Uh, Rumble is going to be highly dependent on at least equalizer. being able to get to the first set of team fights and then use that equalizer in a enclosed space. Yeah. So it, it kind of is an execution thing at this point. Um, can they get the Rumble into the mix? Can they not? That's uh... with a Proto Belt, they can. <laughs> um, Proto Belt Rumble was fantastic. Um, I think I saw it in LCK on Saturday, actually. I think so. I, I think can't it was remember Sunday. right now. I, I remember, but I just vaguely. I really like the play pattern. Um, equalizer down, proto belt forward with flame spitter. You literally box them in, and then if anyone's escaping, tempered fate. Just lock them in with bard. I'm down. I'm on board with this this team comp. <laughs> I'm glad. I, I'm interested because uh, we did see one other game of Rumble from Alfari. How did it go? I unfortunately did not see it. One, one, and eight it was not um, a brilliant game for Alfari himself, but it was you know it was solid. Was solid. Let's see if he can do more. Super Galaxy Rumble. Make all the noise in game. Jump on a Twitter, guys. Hashtag MSFWin. If you think Misfits will pick up a 2 0 and go into the final week of games, only a single loss to their name. Or will Huma be the second European challenger team to draw a series with Misfits? Huma's still in the running for playoffs. Um, in a oh, more yeah. comfortable position. Than, well in the running as well. Yeah, more comfortable position. Five points. They're tied with Millennium for the time being. If they can get a point here, they at least go temporarily ahead of Millennium. But Millennium, they might be the favorites in the next series. When we get there. When we get there. Still got a whole game to go before we get there, Trevor. You are running a little Way ahead. ahead of yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As uh, we are in the long haul for the six games. Got the Tell blood me. pumping in that previous one. Yeah, you're up on the chair, yep. dancing. Yep. It's like a family disco when <laughs> the aunties get a little too uh, Larry. <laughs> Maybe in Cardiff, my friend. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that right now. <laughs> All right, so what we do want to think about, uh, lane swap shenanigans because deep wards have been placed. Misfits run all the way down. To the top lane, Jay. Well, um, already sitting at his tower, a number of pings. So neither team has initiated the lane swap, and it looks like we should get standard lanes. It looks like what we're at right now. Oh, nice cosmic binding. Hits Krizland and Wendelbo. They're actually going for the small minions off this. Yes. So they take one of the small minions uh, that did go over to Krizland. Now they're going to go down to the bottom lane. But look at, because of the denial of vision, look at where Hans Summer and Igna had to run. All the way around the back of the lane, which delays them heavily into this lane. Uh, you can see they are going to lose the first three minions from this before they get there. Experience heavily goes over to Huma then. Major advantage for Krizland and Wendelbo to take advantage or take control of this lane. Use that CS and the wave pushing power. Uh, something else to note. Kajal is running a flash teleport Lissandra. 
Oh, Wainelbo gets caught out. Takes a lot of damage. Self costs the ebb and flow. But yeah, uh, double TPs on the side of Huma as well as the Stand United from Shen. So a lot of uh, map play and a, a lot of pressure that can come from that. Now we didn't really. Ooh, Hans Salmon takes damage yeah, off the damage. level two. We didn't really talk too much about that. Uh, Kadrol, that was the other champion that he kind of was known for. Twisted yeah. Fate and Lissandra. Um, that in the promotion tournament, Hans Salmon. Wow, Kristen's flash forward for this. Hans Salmon flashes away defensively. Summon a heal still available for both. Exhausts has already been used by Ignar, so Wendelbo's got the ability to go all in once again with that summoner spell. And this is the thing is like uh, misfits in this bottom lane have a lot of damage coming out from Jin Bard if they get engaged upon. Also the amount of lockdown makes it very easy. All they've got to do is land damage down onto a target, then hit with the uh, the Jin W. Lock it up with the Cosmic Binding after as well. Impaler has been spotted out. Oh yeah, full information. You, you walked across the crab, man. You should know what's going to happen. Cosmic Binding into a knockup. Flashes away. Impaler's below 100. Ebb and Flow will buy some additional time. Gives him one extra auto. Now Selfie, he's turning it around in Cadrill. Impaler, whew, making a little bit of a mistake there, I feel. Heavy trading back and forth. Yeah, Impaler walked right over the uh, Scuttle Crab vision. I, really weird start to this game. There's been so much trading back and forth. Even top lane, there's a big push going on from Al Fari. 23 CS to 14, trying to shove Shen under the tower. I imagine there's a, a fairly sizable wave. Uh, yeah. No, I was thinking so. I just actually checked on my screen. There's actually two minions and they just died. So JWoww has lost out a lot when it comes to the farm up in the top side. In a standard lane matchup, to be expected somewhat. Rumble in the early levels with that flame spitter can push Shen back away. Does take until he gets some magic resists to sort that back out. Yeah. Much more of a mid to late game matchup. Although Alfari doing very well to get ahead. Um, did very well in game one as well uh, on that Shen, despite it being a lane swap and being in a little, little less pressure, I feel. Catching a glimpse of Cajal and Selfie. They're just continuing to trade. Uh, look at the mana difference, though. Cajal using that TP to back. Pick yep. up another Dorans and just return to lane. Keep the pressure up. And that's why Wisdom came into the mid lane there as well. Just trying to buy a little bit of time, try and push it back out with Selfie to allow Selfie to recall now. And what it means is that Cadrill was uh, hoping to try and freeze it. And you can see where the wave was. I believe Cadrill will be able to lock it right where he wants it here and uh, deny Selfie a whole lot of experience and also farm when he comes back in, but it has just about made it into the turret, so Kedril has to adjust and use a couple of abilities here and there. Yeah, and Kedril, of course, that teleport, giving him the oh, advantage for now. That's going to push it. <laughs> yeah, just a little. Can't Had afford to. missing those CS. Yep. Unfortunately, JWoww is missing a lot. Uh, Alfari, all the pressure that he put down earlier, plus 10, um, although it looks like Wave is going to be pushing, I think, slightly towards Alfari now. Allow him to close that gap ever so slightly. Double amp tomes as well. So more ability power, more flames to spit in JY's general direction. The ripple effect of the uh, early lane experience in the bottom lane is the CS difference again in favor of Krizland. Not only did they deny the Lucian from Hans Sammer, Krizland also is uh, no stranger to uh, the pick. Cadrill's come down as well this time, but they've spotted out an award. Impaler tells Cadrill to wait, at least for now. But look at it, already backing away from the turret is Hans Sammer and Ignar. They knew what was coming. They knew it was dangerous position to be in and back themselves away. A lot of respect uh, being given to the potential that Huma can put down. Also, don't forget, JWoww's got that Stand United. So if a lane swap, uh, rather if a tower dive were to happen, then it becomes a 5v3, 5v4 very, very quickly. Selfie simply cannot get there quickly enough. Um, really, no matter how much he wants to, unless he predicts it and he's <laughs> waiting. And he walks down. He was already at blue buff, so he wasn't that far, but he was close enough. Oh, Impaler. Dom, dom. Now, knowing that that pink ward was there, he knew it could only have been placed recently. Cadrill may be the one in trouble here. Actually, I think it's Wisdom. In. Wisdom's the one that's slowly being surrounded. Cadrill, he's flashed forward. 
Frozen Tomb comes down. Wisdom unburrows, knocks up. Stand United and Cajal saves his life. Chrislin's moving forward. There's no culling available. The Taunt finds no one. Not really does the Equalizer either. Flame Spit is burning down. Jaywell selfies chasing forward. Chaos Storm's already been used in a very good Cosmic Binding. First Blood secured by Selfie. Second Blood secured by Selfie too. Uh, it was just enough from the uh, Equalizer that landed. Got the slow, got a little bit of damage. And from there, the Cosmic Binding coming out of Igna. We talked about, well, we don't really know too much about his Bard game. Well, doesn't even need Tempered Fate yet to uh, land a s double stun. Gets himself two assists on that. There's two kills go over to Selfie. Very similar to s similar start to this game with Selfie looking to snowball up it. So they go on to Wisdom and using that... Uh, ability the ultimate coming out from Cadrell offensively they couldn't even get the kill on wisdom as they followed up and yes Cadrell gets himself out of life so he didn't need it in the end of all things but Huma playing that a little bit risky fighting in the river there in comes the double kill after the double stun good start for misfits yeah very very good plus a thousand gold selfie in a strong position from his lane Alfari's first teleport nets some assists. Um, equalizer, I, I, I don't know. I think you can debate that horizontal. Maybe if it was a little more aggressive, could have oh, made that even cleaner. Oh, yeah, yeah. It could have been way better. Yeah. Um, he did get the slow from it, which kind of transitions into being able to pick up the uh, the lockdown, but certainly could have been a lot better if it had been like through that opening. Yes, that's what I that was anticipating. That would have been like, damage all the way through. And of course, for uh, Misfits, the only weakness right now is Hans Summer. Uh, minus 20 CS. All because Crimson and Wendelbow actually invaded very early on. You know, they got caught at blue, didn't really matter. They got an early level two, and every time we look down bottom, Crimson and Wendelbow are just shoving in over and over and over and diving onto Hans Summer. So he's feeling the pinch. And it's a little bit more sustain, a little bit more damage from, uh, or at least in the short trades coming from Huma. Of course, Bard does a lot of damage, so does Jin Impaler. It's going to take a lot of damage. Oh, it takes so much. Forced to flash away from the Chaos Storm. That quick draw, not enough distance. The selfie almost grabs the hat trick. I still, like, there's just this feeling in the back of my head right now, watching Graves, watching Impaler's Graves, that I just, I'm not overly convinced. Oh, Selfie gets oh, picked off. Selfie's in a little bit of trouble. Flashes away. Collateral damage still puts a burst onto Misfits mid laner, but Selfie gets away. There were so many skill shots I was waiting to see if they hit, <laughs> and none of them did. So Selfie's able to flash to safety. I'm just not overly convinced by uh, the likes of a Graves, who is a little bit more reliant on farming up and doesn't have immediate crowd control based impact. Like, for a Rek'Sai, you have global pressure and you can also crowd control in team fights fairly effectively. Graves only really has bursts as his option and then maybe vision denial if you want to kind of talk about it. It's not something we key in too often I guess as the, to, uh, you know, benefits of Graves. I feel like the argument to the contrary is just that Shane and Lissandra and Nami bring a lot of CC. That is true. So if they combo, um, the only catch is only one of them you really want to be on the front line. Mm. If you're relying on your Nami or your Lissandra engage to then set up Graves for burst? I mean, it, it, that's kind of fair from the Lissandra going in if you can get the right flank. But again, it's it's kind of tough. It's not quite the same as a Gragas, not quite the same as a Rek'Sai. It's like non-traditional, well. right? Yeah. I don't know. It, it's just one of those picks that we saw a lot of. Um, <clears throat> but in oh. the current meta... Oh, that hurts. Whew. A lot. Magical Journey. No pillar coming down. Curtain call fires out, and uh, Hans Summer needs to cancel. Kristen flashes away, sidesteps the deadly flourish, and now all of a sudden, Cadrill turns the attention to Selfie. Selfie's in a little bit of trouble. Running on the wrong side, and kill is secured by Cadrill. First of the game for Huma. Selfie was in a lot of trouble there, as uh, ends up getting taken down as he was trying to come in for the uh, bot lane attempt there. Hans Summer had to cancel his ultimate because of the way that Krizzlind was pressing forward to try and take out Ignar. Again, Ignar didn't have his ult for that exchange either, so this experience deficit that Misfit has is really punishing him. Still no ult, but here comes Alfari. Here Equalizer. comes Alfari. Equalizer cuts Krizzlind off. Krizzlind decides to go aggressive with Tycor's blessing. Now Jaywell's joining the fight. Krizzlind stays alive! He dashes away and flashes and heals, keeps 
the HP up. Ignor gets away from the collateral damage. j -Wall flashes back. Tempered Fate buys some time for Cadrill and Wisdom to reset. Alfari fires out an Electro Harpoon. It's a double kill. Impaler gets it as the CC comes down. Bubble is sidestepped by Impaler as Wisdom knocks up Hoomer into the air. That's not going to be enough. Impaler's going to be able to quick draw forward. Gets the rearm. Manages to put damage from end of the line. Won't get a kill. Alfari's overheating. He needs to get the drill in the face of Huma. But the death rate will pick up the kill, and Wendelboat should get hunted down by Wisdom. <laughs> Selfie seeking still his prey. Selfie, Chaos Storm will chase Impaler. One more hit takes him out. Wisdom caught by the bubble. Prey Seeker should kill if it hits. Look for the goal. Look for the goal. Goal! Yeah, it was less exciting. I decided yeah, not I to know. commit to that one. I, I was going to try and channel the Icelandic commentator uh, from the Euro Cup. But, oh, Kristen, hang on, still in trouble. This fight extended all the way through. Um, so where to begin on that fight? Well, I guess we're going to start right at the beginning. As uh, this is the TP coming in from Alfari. Good uh, direction on it now cuts Kristen off. The problem is Hansama out of mana really doesn't have the ability to close this kill. Nice flash out from Alfari to avoid any kind of bubble here. But Kristen again gets away on such little health. This Tempered Fate may very well have saved JWoww as well because it catches Wisdom, who's trying to kill him, and Kadrill, and it, it actually delays Wisdom because he was stuck in... Uh, in uh, Sorry, it's stuck with Alfari in that point, trying to kill j -Row. This is where we kite back up through the river. Ah, and this goes on for a long time. Oh, yes. Impaler got himself a, a nice double earlier, though. That was a pretty key thing. Finally managing to line up along the wall and uh, takes him out. But you can see how devastating that Flame Spitter is uh, in the danger zone of heat and overheating. It's actually what it's called. Um, I know. I just thought you were, were pulling a Vedius on me. No, um, no, no, no. The I difference is, I understand the reference. I know. It's so, so disappointing. I can't do it. I can't. I can't set you up for that, knowing what's coming. I'm just so saddened. His his pop culture references are weak, and <laughs> and you know he should he should feel bad. Is this a feedback session live on it air is, for somebody who's not even casting? Vedius, if you're listening, uh, you need to watch Archer and you need to learn Archer. You do. And then once you know Sterling well. Come talk to me about phrasing. Um, then we'll have a then we'll have a moment. <sighs> and actually, viewers, I love you guys. But if you don't know Archer either, you should watch it too. You should. It's it's hilarious. And if you're below the age restriction, ignore me and don't do what I yeah, just said. Yeah, don't. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know where to follow up on yeah, this. Yeah, we should. Um, we should. Like, we should no, stop now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get an email saying, Trevor, uh, what happened during the <laughs> game for yeah. Challenger? Let's talk. Come to my Let's office. Talk. Uh, signed, Mallory. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> I killed him, Michael. Broda Bell, Alfari! <laughs> Rumble is going to put Flame Spitter in everybody's face for days. Yeah, thank you, observers. Just jump in with the Proto Bell. Um, <laughs> man, I don't know what was more annoying. Uh, Super Galaxy Rumble or that. that I'm willing to bet. I'm that. willing to bet that's uh, Kevin Owl Observer. Because that was a little... He's going to show us the owl next. That's wild. how you know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Kevin. Listening at the same thank time. you, Kevin. It's, uh... So, Mountain Drake goes over. First dragon of the game is oh, late, uh, actually. Gregor. Uh, nice of you to join us, Mr. Clegane. Huma picked that one up. Still down in kills. Misfits uh, have had the better end of the last few skirmishes, even with Ignaz's uh, kind of messy, tempered fate coming out. It feels like it's exactly the same as game one. <laughs> Crazy yes. extended team That's... fights in which Misfits somehow just come out ahead. And with Alfari picking up the glimpse of the void. Oh, tempered fate, tempered fate, tempered fate. I see you, Ignaz. I see you, Ignaz. Don't miss. Don't miss. Oh. I got so excited, and then just nothing happens. You miss every tempered fate you don't throw. There we go. Put that in a black and white, uh, you know, poster. No, he doesn't like do quotes. those anymore. The real bummer, because that would have been a good one. Yeah. Well, Ignor and Hunt Summer—they're going to shove this wave in, and as they continue to set up, Cadrill's 
Very, very aggressive. Follows in the claw of doom. Impaler puts the full burst combo down. Wisdom's caught out. First kill is onto Han Summer as he's removed from the fight. Teleport lands from Alfari. Equalizer will split the mid lane. Brojo belt forward. And that's some fried salmon. Wendell Bow's able to survive as Ignaz looking to swing and get the kill. The Cosmic double? Binding no. doesn't do anything. Ignaz in trouble. Wendell Bow ebbs and flows to safety before the Chaos Storm takes him down. A knock up from Wisdom buys time for Selfie to get a kill. It's a three for two, but Misfits are the ones that are losing so far. Selfie has red buff, continues to chase with the death ray. Siphon power shield, and the auto attack zap. Plus red buff works out. Got him. That's a dead Chrisland. Disrespecting the death ray. Selfie makes it a three for three. Ignar even managed to get himself out as well. Selfie showing up and says, well, you think you can do a lot with your auto attacks. Here's an empowered one. Gets that a transfer of power. Seven and one. Lichbane first victor for those massive auto attacks here. And uh, at this point, you can see Cadrill starts this out, goes on to Hans Lana as uh, Huma. Oh, again, the Tempered Fate only catches Wisdom in this scenario. It has not been the most convincing of performances. Yeah. Equalizer came out, and here we go. Turn on the barbecue. Yeah. Not quite a shrimp there. Ignore uh, ain't no Mickey in this game. <laughs> even doesn't find the two of them as they split straight down the middle. Yeah, between the uprights. Would have been a field goal if it were rugby. Was Selfie coming in a field goal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kicking from the field. Yeah, okay. Field goal, I believe, is uh, American football. So well, what's the correct rugby term? It's a um, see drop goal. Drop kick. Yeah, drop goal. It is. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, we oh. had something there, but... So, uh, did somebody die? We've lost it now. I don't know. Um, we're about to find out. Uh, yep. Well, we are about to find out. problems with time travel, that is uh, what happens here sometimes. Things get a little crazy. Wendelbo locked down. Wendelbo is in so much trouble. Death Ray comes out. Trouble. There we go. Hans Summer firing out. All three shots have missed. The fourth one tags in Paler. Death Ray and the secondary proc won't be enough for kill, <laughs> but the equalizer <laughs> will. And Alfari snipes him. The tower is golden. Cajal's already killed Selfie before he gets knocked up in the air by Wisdom. Taken down. It's a one for three. Misfits. Go ham or go home. That is their definition. We are in for a very similar game again. Oh, in they go. On yes, to they do. Jay Wow's now in trouble. Can't decide where he wants to go. Manages to make it to the turret, and there's some support from Crisland and Wendelboat. Misfits, they don't get the tower. <laughs> oh, man, this has been a crazy series so far. Just non stop. Action. Um, no real focus on <laughs> map control. Actually, the sentence could have ended there. No real <laughs> focus. <laughs> You're right. Um, Krizlin gets himself the blue. There really has not been a whole lot of like, okay, let's push out this wave. Yeah. Let's take control of an objective. It's just, if we win this fight, we're going to get an objective. That's basically how this has gone. Yeah. And if there's somebody around the objective, we'll kill them instead. And that's uh, been the motto. 18 kills, 19 minutes. We have to get our stats man to find out if there are more kills in this series than any other. Because <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a contester. Um, hopefully production are listening. We'll find out shortly. I mean, <laughs> they, they're listening enough to... <laughs> <laughs> the producer just whispered in my ear, I am. It was, was very, very creepy. They're listening enough for Kevin to show us the owl, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And saying that he's going to show us the owl again, I bet. Not yet. The tower... As soon as after there's action gone. Yeah. Wisdom is still sticking around. He actually used his chilling smite just to try and frustrate. Um, Selfies Huma. come in top. Uh, Huma are boxed in. This is a 3v3, but one of them's an 8 and 2 victor. And Hans Summer can hit from a very, um, very far way away. Huma need to actually realize that there has been nobody on the map for the last few minutes, and there's a bard there. Feeling confident with Stand United and Teleport on Cadrill. Bubble catches Wisdom. Still got 1,200 hit points to burn through. Cinder Hulk plus Giant's Belt and Sightstone. There's a lot of HP. Huma, I think, a little lucky to come away unscathed there. And the reason for it is the fact that Hans Summer was mid lane and the double TP threat that was coming out from Huma was enough that Misfits didn't want to go all in aggressive. Yeah. That makes sense. Mid lane, though, this is where Misfits are actually mostly grouped Chris up. Chrisland's alone on the front foot. Got Chrisland. Goes golden, thanks to Tempered Fate. The first shot. <laughs> wow. Yep. 
Fire everything. That about does it. Equalize up plus curtain call. Sans Krizlin packing. Baron is the name of the game. Um, all of Misfits are peeling away. Teleport's coming down. That is Kajal TPing up. Stand United's available if J1 wants to join the fight. Kajal, wow, look at that Chaos that, Storm. Ooh. This is a channel from Stand United. This will allow JWoww to arrive, but the dash doesn't connect with anybody. No taunt, no CC. Misfits grab their 13th kill of the game, and that's unlucky for Huma as Impaler is about to be impaled. He's going to get knocked down. Dancing Grenade, I think, just about does it. Protobelt forward. Screw the Baron. We want the kills. Misfits take down Wendelbow. Well, they get the kills up to 15 now. Misfits. The outer tower in mid lane is still standing, but it doesn't seem to matter. It's going to be Baron being taken before that tower actually falls in this game. Misfits have themselves only a 3,000 lead, but that's about to get blown wide open oh, it once is. this Baron gets Stress. taken. Stress. <laughs> Here comes Wow. Come on, let's fight. 22 minutes, 22 kills. You boys are slowing down. Wow needs to find a dash. Chrysler is taunted up by the Cosmic Binding. And Wow, that was not wow. His dash goes wide, finds nobody with five targets to aim at. And Baron is secured by Alfari. 22 minutes and 15 seconds in. Well, this was the beginning of it because Chrysler was pushed too far up and... On the count of three, fire everything yeah. at Chrysland at that point. Um, Chrysland dies very effectively from <laughs> what <laughs> Misfits have. Uh, Selfie's dead. Yeah. I've got no more analysis oh, anything on else that. Actually, sorry, that's, that's okay. You see, I call them out. The guys are yeah. slowing down. Now it's 24 kills in Selfie's 23 like, oh, minutes. I guess I should be the one yep. to, to run in. Got to keep those stats up. <laughs> this series. <laughs> Uh, has, you know, been, uh, you know, we could use a lot of words to describe it that, you know, go with interesting, loose, interesting, interesting, crazy, weird, innovative, because um, innovative. <laughs> innovative does not <laughs> imply good, right? Innovative is an, a, an approach, is a style. It does not imply <laughs> quality. I don't know what's innovative about this, though. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Is I think you can use the word as long as there is actually some innovation coming out. Well, um, Impaler is dead. Yep, that's not innovation. Uh, tempered fate <laughs> from Ignor, unable to find anybody. Wow, Crisland, he took out Hunt Summer. Um, Ghost Blade was used. Must have just jumped over the wall. Wisdom flashes forward, catches onto Wendelbow. Furious bite would just be enough. But flame spur to an electro harpoon. 18 kills to Misfits now. Finally, they're going to get the outer turret, and they can continue to siege on. A lot of cooldowns were used. Not quite sure how Hans Summer got caught out, but Krizlin doing what he can to slow things down. Not doing a huge amount. Wisdom, he's even going to go in forward. Diving under the tower. Death Ray will burn through JWoww's HP ever so slightly. And tower falls as well. Misfits with a very, very good objective play. Well, they're not even too focused on it. They were just focused on putting damage down. Then we'll get some of the tower a little bit later. That uh, Man, this has been a, a very aggressive, very focused game only on fighting. Yeah. Um, there has been pretty much a neglect for everything else. This is only the second dragon of the game in a <laughs> game where there have been 27 yeah. kills before 20. It was stolen. It actually was stolen <laughs> by Impaler. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. I was that collateral damage? I was, I was ranting. I think it was. It looks like he stole it with his ultimate. Um, so this is how Hans Summer died. <laughs> that sums up the game. It Arden really, really into does. flashing over the wall to 1v1 and then being like, oh. The rest of his team's near. I guess we should be careful hey, on that. It led to Impaler eventually stealing the dragon. In exchange for two towers? I, I, in this game, probably worth. Yeah. <laughs> I've yes. lost track. Yes. <laughs> I've lost track. Um, Unreal. Oh, this game has been crazy. So I think if we're going to be in fast forward mode, this was again just Misfits sieging up under the tower. Okay. Keep so in mind they have Baron go. at this point, by the way. Here we go. There's no smite here. That's the thing. Look, Rek'Sai is top, and Shen actually just spotted him out. There's a ward in there. So it was a straightforward one. Yeah. Um, I've seen Impaler get a lot better <laughs> steals than that. Um, yeah. Credit, but, you know. thing is, it has to, it has to amount to something. Like... Yes, Misfits now have a, 
sorry, Huma now have a second dragon, but they're down 7,000 gold, and they're not really able to siege. Misfits, on the other hand, uh, Baron, I think, is slowly wearing off. Should be around about the time it's done, though. Mm -hmm. And there's a big wave being escorted by Alfari. So inner turret top. Very, very clearly the objective. Yeah, I mean, Kristen's only just recalling now, so it's uh, not quite going to coincide with when the wave pushes up. So with the Baron buff minions, they're going to get good hits onto this tower for now. Jwo actually gets locked down. Just so much damage. If at any point somebody gets caught by a Cosmic Binding, Hans Summer plus Chaos Storm should be enough to pick up a kill. Five members of Misfits stacked right on top of this tower. Uh, Got to wait for the next minion wave to conga line in. Huma did a pretty good job of clearing out that large wave. Yeah, they did a good job, but Misfits, Wisdom's looking to go in here. They don't get the lockdown from Hans Sama. Oh, here comes the curtain call. Yeah, curtain call. Shot number one connects, as does two. Tempered Fate this time round is good. Wendell Bow and Cage will caught out. Equalizer maybe a touch early. It allows the kill into Wendell Bow's Impaler's running for his life. A deadly flourish. It's not particularly deadly from Hans Sama. And Misfits with a very, very good siege. Get a kill, get the tower, and now they can get away. Uh, should. Oh, Hans Sama got cancelled. He did indeed. Ghost played up. Takes a magical journey. There's a teleport. One teleport. Uh -oh. Is this double or not? We'll find out. Kedril's running forward. Take looking for Hans Sama. Stands united. Keeps throwing out the eye shots. Root in place. Hans Sama and Ignor in trouble. Both get taken down. It's a double kill to Krizland. And Huma have a minor, minor reprieve from the pressure. Yeah, it means Huma can shove back the waves. There are no real objectives for them to take right now, which is the biggest problem. That's the kind of fight that Baron would normally be available after, and you'd be able to take that down, but Misfits already got it, a, you know, a few minutes ago, so Huma kind of going to take whatever they can here. They're pinging defensively a Misfits on the top tower, and Huma are pinging behind it as if to say, let's pick up whoever comes behind the tower to protect. Now they're looking at mid lane, all right, that'll at least close the gold gap. We're getting closer to 30 minutes. Uh, it is still sizable. 6,000 gold at this point is still important. But Huma have got two mountain dragons. Baron is up in a minute and a half. Infernal is up next. Kadril is still a long way away from the hourglass. I feel like that's going to be another big game changer for him. So that he can avoid uh, these sorts of moments. Decent catch. Angle maybe could have been a little better on the uh, Rumble Ultimate to catch them as they were still running better. Uh, still running back to base. I mean, still running better. I hey. hate running better. <laughs> um, <laughs> this game is doing crazy things to my It head. really is. Um, it really is. Uh, then this is... Look how tanky Cadrill is right now. The Rod of Ages, Lissandra. Uh, Hansama can't really chunk through it at all. Um, doesn't have enough damage. Takes too long. And there was the Shen there yeah. as well. Yeah, Shen shield and yep. Summer just has to. He, he needs multiple shots, and he's just not getting the chance. Chrysalis got that black lever picked up. 248 CS to the 191 of Hans Summer. Even mid laner farm. Alfari, Rhylas Crystal Scepter, and that Proto Belt to back up uh, the Leandries. Forgot the name for a second. Got it though. <laughs> and for Huma. They need more mistakes from Misfit. Like, that's, yep. that's kind of what it boils down to. Misfits has got a, a very substantial lead, and they've got a, a team comp that's just going to, like, kill Chrisman oh, like this. He's dead. And they got Stand United as well, but and look at that burst. And Baron is up in five. That well, was possibly the least fortunate time for that to happen. Chrisman made a boo-boo. Yes. Yes, he did. It's going to lead to a Baron fight, because Huma don't know how to give it up. <laughs> Or how to stop the fight. Teleport's available for Alfari. He's coming in from behind. A rotisserie is on the menu, and it's Huma that are going to get cooked. Alfari, a very good equalizer this time round. Proto belts forward. Just a slam dunk down on Kadril. JWoww's being burned away as Impaler. It's uh, taken down by Wisdom. Finally, JWoww will go down. Not before surviving for a very, very long time. And Misfits can set their sights in the second Baron of the game. 3 for 0 oh in front of the Baron pit is going to result in Misfits picking up their second Baron of the game. Man, this is uh, a real, real tough turnaround 
for Hoomer if they were managed to do it. But honestly, Misfits have such a big lead from the uh, just relentless, relentless fighting in this game. Alfari has to flash, but honestly, I don't think he's in all that much danger here once Wisdom turns around. Oh, they got him! Yeah. Flash forward from Kristen, but now he's got no flash! Yeah, but where does Kristen go? He's got a support and a jungler to deal with. Wisdom is going to tunnel forward. Wendelbo's coming to help up, but look at the damage. Ignite and Wisdom just burns through. And uh, Wendelbo can't really do a whole lot to help. Misfits, they're just playing to their, uh, truthfully, to their strengths. Aggressive, in your face, on top of people. Yeah, I mean, they have the lead and just keep on going with it. Ah, oh, man, Impaler ends up falling from this. Just the damage. They try and trade it back effectively, Hans Summer and Impaler, but it's, uh, ultimately Misfits with a massive lead comes out ahead. JWoww survived longer than perhaps he should have. But, uh, I don't even think we're going to get to Elder Drake right now when it uh, is due up but yeah. it was more to show us i believe that infernal had been taken by misfits i concur thank you observers always keeping us up to date when you're showing us content that doesn't keep us up to date <laughs> don't really know why no i don't know what you're yeah. going with on that one trevor are you trying yeah. to make a point no no just, trevor just wants to see the owl again yep i do thank you <laughs> Hello, Kevin the Owl. Remember, he voted. <laughs> Challenge of viewers. It was a lot better he than the last vote I participated dubbed. in. Was that's official. all I'm going to say. His misfits <laughs> look to close this game out. <laughs> yeah, there's a petition to do it again. Uh, it's not going very well. No. Yeah. It's misfits pushing through. They're going to look to uh, make a quick, quick uh, exit of this game. <laughs> with, with Baron, with Infernal. And with a 11,000 gold lead, it's going to be very easy. Wisdom gets a knock-up. Impaler is able to sidestep the curtain call. Oh, good Before block final Kedril. shot comes in, Kedril is going to go golden for temporarily. Self-cast the tomb is a very good equalizer. Burns down Wendelbo on the back. Alfari's overheating. The Electro Harpoon slowed Impaler's escape. Turn their attention to JWoww. Three members of Hoomer are down. We're still in a death ray. Set their sights on JWoww. And Chrislin's doing a little dance as he runs away. Misfit. 27 kills in 32 minutes. They're going to turn towards the Nexus turret and have guaranteed themselves another three points on the table. Man, that was a sweet block on Kadrol's attempt to come in the back of that team fight. It means Misfits, they're going to be able to take this series 2 and 0. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, Misfits continue to reign supreme in the European Challenger Series. Yeah, that, that was the moment. That was uh, the moment. Just edit it together when the Nexus goes down. <laughs> Krizlin's <laughs> tears are fully stacked. Um, ah, dear. That was... Uh, Quite a, a bloodthirsty series. Un unbelievable. 40 kills in 33 minutes, I think that was. Mind-boggling. Um, um, that's one of those series where you look at it and you're like, not sure if there were too many lessons learned the thing is, in that. You, you watch it and you go, not sure if really good or not sure if really bad, because there are moments that are amazing. The mechanical right. outplays. Okay. Um, even though it was absolutely crazy at every single stage, Misfits still felt in control. How on earth that is the case when it's like they're riding a, 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 a bull, you know? I'm trying to think of like a bucking bronco. Is that the yeah, thing? That, yeah, yeah. But they're still in control. They're like the ultimate cowboys. Yeah, but the, the problem is like, w you know, when you look at like what defines a good game, right? Is okay. teams playing in somewhat sense of a strategical nature where you're looking at like actually making decisions on the map. There was one decision made in two games. <laughs> What fight was, yeah. <laughs> that was legitimately it which makes for an entertaining game don't get me wrong and you can see that the uh, misfits are head and you know almost head and shoulders above uh in that circumstances like yes huma had moments where they either went even or were able to come back in 
it just was a, a, a game where just nobody thought about, like, if we don't fight here, can we maybe take a dragon? Can we take a turret? That kind of thing. I'm can a we really push big out fan. on a side lane? One decision was made in that entire series, and the decision was fight. <laughs> and it was a decision that benefited Misfits. They come away 2 0, they grab themselves three points, and I'm 99% sure they've guaranteed themselves a top two finish. It is time to reset the rift, to rebuild the towers, to find some shiny gems, to go on top of those inhibitors. Let's hope I can do it all in five minutes. Selfies chasing forward. Chaos Storm's already been used in a very good cosmic binding. First blood secured by Selfie. Second blood secured by Selfie too. Unlucky for Huma as Impaler is about to be impaled. He's gonna get knocked down. Dancing Grenade, I think, just about does it. Proto Belt forward. Screw the Baron. We want the kills. Misfits take down Wendelbone. And they've got a a team comp that's just gonna like kill Chrisman oh, like this. He's dead. They turn their attention to JWoww. Three members of Huma are down. With them in a death rate. Set their sights on JWoww and Chrislin's doing a little dance as he runs away. Misfit, 27 kills in 32 minutes.